What's up now? It's me, 18 Wheels. I'm back with another video. Uh, this video right here is uh, about the repairs done on my truck and trailer. The running lights. Out of everything, you know, you know what? Something this small can stop the whole show. But something small like this could be a really big problem if you can't figure out why is it act, why is it acting up. So. Stay tuned and check this out. I was getting ready to, to ride, right? So my running lights, they blinked out. I got some kind of problem with the uh, my running lights. I don't know what the problem is, but it <laughs> oh, 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 yours better than mine, shit. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna go back here. Okay. But I don't know why you would say the pigtail up under here was, was damaged. I don't know, man. That's what dude said. So they already, they already went through all this right here? Yeah, he went and took that pigtail that's in right here. He took that whole thing off, assembly off, and tested it. And he said there was something wrong with it. There's something wrong with this one? Yeah, the pigtail. That's what he said. Okay, so we have burning lights, right? Burning lights. Okay. okay, so as I sit here and watch. You know the mechanic uh go through all the uh you know the procedures on checking you know what to check now i'm not no mechanic myself but you know i i kind of got an understanding of how the flow electricity how the flow electricity work it's like running water you know you gotta find out where the leak is at and then you could kind of like repair it, but I couldn't figure it out. So, you know, uh, yeah, I had to let a professional do it. But I'm gonna tell you this, we took this truck to three different mechanics. Uh, one of them, one mechanic in Texas, and he, this guy had two, it was two people working on the truck at the time in Texas. And then we took it to two different mechanics in Ohio, where I'm from. And uh, nobody could figure it out. It was like a mystery. And I'm like, it's got to be something real simple that we're overlooking. And, uh, you know, this mechanic right here, this guy figured it out. And I'm like, dang, you know, but he told me, you got to, it's a certain way you got to do it with these trailers, truck and trailers, especially a car hauler trailer, because the electrical wiring on this truck and trailer is inside the metal tubing so you got to figure out you got to go through your uh uh checks first so you got to tell me you got to check everything like all the connectors where you know things can be connected at and um that's how you do it but i did i did it and other mechanics did it but they couldn't find it but this this guy right here he found it you know, I guess you got to know exactly where to look. So that just go to show you, you know, you got experience in working with these type of trucks and trailers, you know, you can kind of like go straight to it. Now the other mechanics that actually worked, that uh, looked at the truck and trailers, they really didn't know too much about car and trailers. They did the same, or they did the same procedures that he did, but, the thing about it they didn't check the same things that he checked that's why he was able to spot it because he probably the, the, the mechanic that looked at it that's in this video he probably already knew you know what to look at do because of uh, other uh, uh, trucks and trailers that was like this one so you kind of like you know you done this before you know so and I, I'm just glad to be able to sit there and kind of like watch and, you know, just to check to see, you know, what to look and what, you know, what 
what to do you know what i mean so if this happened again i kind of know what to look look for you know so they're trying to charge the company 1200 dollars for that part and i'm like dude that part don't cost that much and that was too much extra i could see if he probably was trying to get like a couple of hundred extra you know he probably would have got away with it but twelve hundred dollars man <laughs> that's my bonus <laughs> yeah shit. Now i got the schematic to this you want it what to the, to the um how it's wired up with the wires okay. on the trailer you don't need it Not yet. okay yeah because i called Cortel and they didn't have that pigtail the one that goes to the trailer they didn't, i don't think they had the one that's in the middle right here you know what uh i'm gonna say one, one thing one. these trucks these trucks so many things can go wrong with them and it can be the most simplest repair that can actually fix the problem so my thing is i kind of felt already i said it's something real simple it's got to be something simple and uh which it was you know if i just if i knew where to look if i knew exactly where to look and know what to look for you know that right there would have saved a lot of time and it would have you know it, it, this kind of like put me behind you know me making making my money so wait a minute oh a little bit to get away from the trailer and do it. Oh, you're good right there. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Let me raise it up. Man, man, if you could fix this, you a genius, man. You are a genius. Because I couldn't figure it out. Let me know when you are ready for me to raise them. Yep, go ahead. Go ahead and raise them now? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Let me tell y'all what happened. We took this truck. I took this truck to three different mechanics. One mechanic in Texas, he couldn't figure it out. Took it to another mechanic in Ohio, they couldn't figure it out. And then we took it to one more mechanic in Ohio. Two mechanics looked at it. They could not figure out where the short was at on my trucks while my running lights not the, the lights that are blinking it always blink like that but i'm talking about the ones that just normally stay on as you see so we took it to i took it back to the yard when i brought it back to the yard because the mechanics here the mechanics here in denver they specialize in working on car hauling trailers truck and trailers they specialize in that this is their thing they know car haulers they know you know you know uh they know what to look for i even i'm gonna tell you i even because i know i have a little knowledge of it i'm not super super like uh a brainiac type of person with the lights but i got a little knowledge i know a little something about it you know and i even looked at it. i couldn't even find it i couldn't even find what was shortened the lights out the running lights out because my lights will blink out and i would not i got a couple of lights out on here it's like i gotta run with my flashers until i can get to a uh actual you know safe place to park the truck because at nighttime you ain't you're not really supposed to ride like that your stuff i mean your truck cars trucks everybody supposed to have running lights you know the, the red lights the ones that are red not the ones that are flashing those are flashers i see here go this one that one's out that needs to be fixed well anyway my flashers you're not supposed to have to run with your flashers on at night you're supposed to be able to cut them off and run with the running lights so i'm gonna tell y'all man what the problem was this is what the me this is what the mechanic found out and i didn't think he was gonna be able to find it find out what the problem was because i'm like man i looked at it three other mechanics looked at it and then here he came and looked at it 
he looked at it, he went through every little thing that he could find on here and he got all the way to the back of my truck until i come back here he got to the back of the truck right and y'all see those lights in the back i got running lights i got lights at the bottom right by the license plate as a matter of fact yeah my license plate light is on okay my lights down here at the bottom this light on this side on the passenger side was the problem this light right here the running light he said it was the running light not the, not the blinkers it was the running light so the running light had something on the inside of the wire which was kind of bare and it was rubbing up against the frame of the truck so that explains it when i would hit bumps it would just plink out and then it was short it was short out the uh it was short out the actual uh fuse that's up under the hood that's you know that's for the uh actual lights because the 30 amp fuse up under the hood of the truck for that and i also have a relay uh actual relay uh switch up under the truck for the for the lights you know stop relay and a running lights relay that's supposed to, to uh actually control the flow of electricity to the lights so everything could do what it's supposed to do so that right there was rubbing up against something in the truck on the on the uh on the uh frame of the truck so that kind of like well, what he found so now here's the test i told him I said, look, I'm going to let the lights run all night. I'm not going to cut them off. I am going to cut the flashers off and I'm going to cut the headlights off because I don't have problems with my headlights. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, what I'm going to do is let my lights run all night. I'm going to cut off my uh, load lights. I got the load lights on. Those are the, the lights like right there. I don't have to have those on. I'm going to cut those off and I'm going to cut uh you know my uh, uh, headlights off and my blinkers. I'm not gonna have them on, but I'm gonna let my running lights run all night because I need to make sure when I leave that that problem is solved. You know, but I believe I believe that he found the problem, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sweat it. So I'm until the morning and all day tomorrow when I'm loading up my cars because I got cars here. Then I'm going to be picking up and I'm going to be delivering cars from here, probably somewhere on the other part of the United States. But I'm going to be uh, leaving my lights on all the way till I get ready to leave. You know, then when I get ready to leave, if they still working and I don't have no problems, you know, just I'm going to hit the road and then just just. Uh, you know, just keep an eye on things and just keep going. So